It's Thursday early morning. Now we're gonna start shooting this morning at uh, Tesla's transformer, which is about 1.4 miles away from here. Guess what? It's a rainy day. It's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna walk there. Why? This adventure, remember? See you there. Behind me, there is the Tesla transformer house. We're gonna shoot a little bit inside. This is exclusive access. This is not open to the public. As you see, they just hey, opened the sir. gates for us. Thank this you so is much closed for, for the public. On, this in. is the owner behind me. Okay, come on then. This was uh, the first power plant in the world to produce alternating current and send long distance in 1895. The players involved were George Westinghouse, Nikola Tesla, J.P. Morgan, and Stanford White, the architect. And um, I stumbled across it along the way. I, I, I knew about it, but I didn't know what the building was as a young boy. And I was fortunate enough to be able to buy it. And I've owned it since, I think, 1999. And uh, it's a pleasure to own it, due to the fact that all the background and the involvement of Nikolai Tesla, who finally, after 100 years, is getting his uh, accolades and so on. So. All right, so let's walk around. Yeah. Peter, tell us about the railing system. Oh yeah, the, they, this was a transformer house. Okay, the two powerhouses were tore down, and I believe in 1964, and Alice filled in everything. They had an overhead crane in here because there were transformers in here, and they needed. Apparently, they were heavy, and they used the crane, which is down the other end, that rolls on a train track, to pick these things up and uh, you know, move and do what they needed. Let's check it out. There's still two tunnels under this building. This building's 266 feet long. The two powerhouses were probably almost 500 feet long. Mm -hmm. Two times the height. Powerhouse number two had all marble staircase, beautiful. They tore them down in 64. Mm -hmm. That's great. So this is a national landmark right now. outside air. Yeah. Over on this side, there's a big fan uh, on the other side here. And they would suck the air and they would circulate air through. I'll show the fan on the other side. Anyway, they would circulate the air because apparently with transformers in here, it was so hot. Um, there was a, a hole that they connected the power to in the older lines and you can see the original photos of people here with that. So. I haven't been down here. Hey! Um, wow, it's very dark in here. Uh, it'll, it'll I figured just, it out. Yeah. Uh, right. And then walk there. Go get your feet. Uh, mm -hmm. Is this tunnel again? Uh, this one here that we're going to show you is about 2,000 feet, I believe. Wow. This was a power tunnel that they ran uh, uh, power underground. Watch yourself. Okay. Great condition. There's a step coming up here, you guys. Where the, the yeah, earth is built. Very, very condition. Okay, now, what here's is, the... Uh, Good. Here's the remains of the tunnel here. Wow. That was amazing. <coughs> wow. This is amazing. How you doing, man? Hey, man. Hi. Hey. How you doing down there? This building is now used as a storage facility for the cars and boats. But hopefully one day, we can restore it to its original beauty.